words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother, Part Two, Letters on the Mother by Our Lord, Chapter Eight, Sadhana through Work for the Mother, Page Two Hundred and Ten, Topic, Need of Mastery in Work. Sri Aurobindo says, Mother does not disapprove of your writing a book what she does not like is your being so lost in it that you can do nothing else you must be master of what you do and not possessed by it she quite agrees to your finishing and offering the book on your birthday if that can be done but you must not be carried away you must keep your full contact with higher things. Date, 1st May, 1934. Next topic, Conditions of Perfect Service. Sri Aurobindo says, Efface the stamp of ego from the heart and let the love of the mother take its place. Cast from the mind all insistence on your personal ideas and judgments, then you will have the wisdom to understand her. Let there be no obsession of self-will, ego drive in the action, love of personal authority, attachment to personal preference, then the mother's force will be able to act clearly in you and you will get the inexhaustible energy for which you ask and your service will be perfect. Date 27th November 1940 Sri Aurobindo continues to say, Yes, that is the most important thing. To get over ego, anger, personal dislikes, self-regarding, sensitiveness, etc. Work is not only for work's sake but as a field of sadhana for getting rid of the lower personality and its reactions and acquiring a full surrender to the divine. As for the work itself, it must be done according to the organization arranged or sanctioned by the mother. You must always remember that it is her work and not personally yours. Date 23rd March 1935 I can only repeat what I have already written whenever these circumstances and feelings come to you. To leave your work is not a solution. It is through work that one can detect and progressively get rid of the feelings and moments that are contrary to the yogic ideal, those of the ego. Work should be done for the mother and not for oneself. That is how one encourages the growth of the psychic being and overcomes the ego. The test is to do the work given by the mother without abhimana or insistence or personal choice or prestige, not getting hurt by anything that touches the pride, amor propria or personal preference. It is a high and great ideal that is put before the sadhak through work and it is not possible to realize it suddenly, but to grow steadily into it is possible if one keeps the aim always before one, to be a selfless and perfectly tempered instrument for the work of the Divine Mother. Date 28 September 1935 Next topic, The Impersonal Worker Sri Aurobindo says to be impersonal generally is not to be egocentric, not to regard things from the point of view of how they affect oneself, but to see what things are in themselves, to judge impartially, 
to do what is demanded by the purpose of things or by the will of the master of things not by one's own personal point of view or egoistic interest or ego formed idea or feeling in work it is to work what is best for the work without regard to one's own prestige or convenience not to regard the work as one's own but as the mother's to do it according to rule discipline impersonal arrangement even if conditions are not favorable to do the best according to the conditions etc etc the impersonal worker puts his best capacity zeal industry into the work but not his personal ambitions vanity passions he has always something in view that is greater than his little personality and his devotion or obedience to that dictates his conduct date 29th june 1935 it would be dangerous says sri arbindo it would be dangerous to take every inner prompting as if it were a prompting or initiation of action from the mother what seems an inner prompting may come from anywhere any force good or bad seeking to fulfill itself one may have ego about the work even if the work itself comes from the mother the ego of the instrument is one of the things against which there must be special care in the yoga when one is doing the work usually the urge of the force that works and the preoccupation of doing it and getting it done or the pleasure of doing it are sufficient and the mind does not think of anything else afterwards the sense of i did it comes up with some however the ego is active during the work itself date 3rd november 1935 question if i work for the mother alone the interference of the ego would mean that it comes from outside for i can't do the work only for the mother along with my ego for the sure window says of course it is a way but one has still to be careful about the ego even people who sincerely think they are doing only the mother's will are yet actuated by ego without knowing it date 4th april 1936 next topic profit from difficulties in work sri arbindo says i am glad of your resolution the greater the difficulties that rise in the work the more one can profit by them in deepening the quality if one takes it in the right spirit you must also keep yourself open to receive the help towards that for the help will always be coming from the mother for the change of the nature date 29th september 1935 Do not allow yourself to be grieved or discouraged. Human beings have unfortunately the habit of being unkind to each other. If you do your work in all sincerity, the mother will be satisfied and the all the rest will come afterwards. You need not mind ex quick temper. Remind yourself always it is mother's work that you are doing. and if you do it as well as you can remembering her the mother's grace will be with you that is the right spirit for the worker and if you do it in that spirit a calm consecration will come date 1st march 1933